168 hours. That's how much time there is in a week. 168 hours. Eight hours of sleep a night, seven nights a week. That's 168 minus 56 hours of sleeping. That's 112 hours minus 40 hours of work time each week. This is the time that many people spend employed. It's sort of the benchmark of full-time labor. Some of us spend more than 40 hours, some a little bit less, but of course, some people are also retired. So this is the time that you fill with the other things you do instead of your career. Maybe it's retirement jobs or HOAs or yacht clubs or quilting groups or church meetings or a combination of all of these things. But for most of us, 40 hours spent doing things laboring in some way. So 112 minus 40 is 72 hours. So at most, 72 hours that our society has deemed as our time, me time, leisure time, except it isn't because there's chores to do around the house, like vacuuming and laundry, and the kitchen always needs to be cleaned again. And there's groceries to buy, and doctor's appointments, and meals to prepare and to eat, and personal hygiene, and drive time, you know, commutes. And some of us even have kids. And as fun as they are, it's also exhausting helping them have enjoyable and at least relatively safe times. And on top of that, the average American spends in 2022 181 minutes a day watching TV. That's just over three hours a day, 21 hours a week. And pretty soon there's very little time left. And then there's God. Where does God's time fit in all of this? Is it just an hour or two on Sundays? Of the 168 hours each week, we give at most two hours to God? That's only 1% of our time in a week. And that's a problem. And I know many of you do spend some additional time in prayer and in devotions in the mornings and things like that, and that adds up, but still, it's only 2 or 3% of our time. Now, the solution is definitely not squeezing more into an already full week. It's certainly not just adding more church stuff or devotional time. Not necessarily, though those things are good. No, it actually doesn't even really cost us anything to give more time to God. All this stuff that we do is important. We don't need to cut it. We just need to add intentionality to our weeks. We just need to do these things we already do for God's glory. We need to do these things for the sake of our neighbor. And that doesn't mean only do Christian jobs or whatever. It means doing the jobs with the skills and the abilities that God has given you as well as you can. And doing that job for the sake and the honor of those who will benefit from it. So it's not one or two or even five hours that belong to God each week. It's 168, all of them. And maybe we'll dig into this again soon. But for now, peace be with you.